what up what up welcome back to toria topics if you weren't here last week this week is going to be something different <laughs> welcome back to toria topics my name is victoria and this week's topic is five quotes that you should live by quote number one if you want to live a happy life Tie it to goals, not people, not things. It just won't work. Quote number two. Success comes from going from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. Uh, it's something that I've heard many, many times from different people about how they traveled along their journey to become successful. It was not a straight and narrow path. It was a path that had a lot of highs and lows and they had to work through those things. It wasn't something that just fell in their lap. You have to continue to try again. You have to go and take that next step. The only way to learn is to fail. Without the failure, what what are you really doing you those are the lessons those are the best lessons some of the some of the biggest failures in your life will be the biggest lessons and we have to see failure as not so much of a negative thing but as one more step to getting to where we need to be quote number three all that we are is a result of what we have thought you are what you think what you think about yourself where you see yourself in life that is where you will be. What you speak into the universe is what will come back to you. It's something that I feel like is very true. What you speak will manifest. What you think about will manifest. Um, it's only a amount of time before everything. If you have nothing but negativity that you're bringing into your life, or you're manifesting and, and thinking and, and going over and replaying all the negative things in your life that is what's going to continue to happen so you you truly have to change your mindset change the way that you think change the way that you think about the world change the way you think about yourself how you talk to yourself when you're upset do you talk down to yourself if you do stop doing it because it's going to affect you it, you can't get around it it will number four turn your wounds into wisdom we all go through a lot of things in life but that doesn't mean that all the things that affect you have to damage you you can use that as a strength like i said before i'm trying to turn my weaknesses into strengths so use the things that have happened to you as tools to navigate through the rest of your life and help others who are going through the same thing or have been you know going through that process that you've been through already and you've made it out of and now you have wisdom that this person doesn't have share it you know teach others some of the things that you had to learn from going through whatever you went through tell your story because you never know who is going through the same thing you are Last but not least, number five. This is one of my favorites. Have enough courage to trust love one more time and always one more time. Uh, I feel like if I didn't do that, I probably wouldn't be married because I pretty much felt like I wasn't gonna find anybody. And something in me just said, you know what? I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do it with an open heart. Um, I'm not going to do it with, with walls built up. I have to pull the walls down. I have to try again. I have to give it another chance and be clear about what I want. You know, know what your standards are. Know what the goal is. Know what your morals are. Know the things that you cannot let go. These are the things. These are the standards. Not, oh, you need to look this way. You need to be this tall. You need to make this amount of money. That don't matter. What matters is how do you want to be treated? What is the price tag that you're putting on yourself? You know, when, when you're allowing someone to come in, can you, can they do anything? Can they treat you any kind of way? You know, you have to establish that. Once you establish that, then you're able to let that love come back in and be, be able to trust someone else. 
you know, when you set those, set those bars, set, set those standards that you're not going to let go of and trust and trust that God will guide you to where you need to be. Thank you for tuning in to Toria Topics and until next topic, y'all.